Hello comrades and uh, welcome to something uh, rather new. This is Dwarf Fortress, the 2014 version. Um, officially it's, uh, I think, 0 0.40.06. Oh, uh, there we go. There. <laughs> uh, didn't have to think that hard if it's right on the screen. But uh, I'm use actually using a new recording program for this, uh, Open Broadcaster, so I can broadcast my desktop basically. And I can show you some tools I will use to handle my dwarfs. Um, but yeah, uh, let's create a new world. I just made a... I never played this version before. I just made a quick run through a uh, creation of a world so I can see if it works. And I hope the sounds of my keyboard aren't too loud. Uh, medium size, I will do a very short history. Um, or should I go with short? Very short leaves me m more places to choose from uh, to embark. And I believe everything on medium except the mineral occurrence. Uh, I think I did that wrong, didn't I? No, I think it worked. So, um, as you can hear right now, I am using uh, SoundSense. I really, really hope that YouTube won't shut down this video. If they do, I might have to re-upload it later uh, without some advertisement. So that's it. Uh, five years of history. I'm using the Phoebus tile set, by the way, because I'm used to it. Okay, we have a lot of mountains. A lot, a lot of mountains. And there is a volcano in the sea, which I won't use, probably. So, uh, let's accept the world, we will offload all the data, and then we will look for a place to embark on. Uh, region 2, Dwarf Fortress, okay. Uh, this is a new feature. Um, in this version, the world, uh, in the previous versions, the world was set, so once you generated it, it was how it is. It didn't change over time except the fortress you were building. In this build, the world changes constantly while you're playing. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of space that I can take on. So, here's what we do. Uh, let's uh, find a desired location. And I can, as you can see on the right hand side, I can set up how I want it. Um, Okay, I don't care for much. I want a fluxstone layer. I want no aquifer. A river would be nice uh, for some reasons. <laughs> I want multiple shallow metals and multiple deep metals. Um, and I want some soil. Uh, let's see if it can find some places where we can go. It sure seem that way. Uh, basically, every green X is uh, a place where there is um, a place with these specifications that I set. So we will have to see and take a look in a second once it's searched the world. We can listen to the beautiful music by uh, a Rhapsody of Fire, Italian power metal band, I think. Well, it doesn't sound really like metal, this song, but if you YouTube them up, uh, I think you will find that they do have uh, some good metal music, if you like power metal, like Hammerfall or something like that. Okay, almost done with the search. And then we will take a look right here. Come on, the last bits. Yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, let's browse the results. So, um, I'm now in the, in the region tab, so in the middle, right? 
you can see uh, flashing uh, green axes are places according to my specification and the yellow X is my place. As you can see this place is quite near some uh, Dwarven fortresses already. Three, I think. Is that? Are those cities? Well, this is a fortress. Four. Oh well. So, let's see what we have here. Um, if we can settle somewhere in the vicinity, it's, it's fine. So here I have shallow metals, deep metals, some fluxstone layer, but I have a second biome with a little soil, shallow metals, deep metals and fluxstone layer. Um, this is probably a pretty good starting location. Uh, let's check the other things. We have uh, dwarfs, humans, goblins and elves, so everything is here. No towers. I can choose my... Let's just for the sake of, uh, are there more than one? No. Oh, well, I can choose this one, the noiseless rags. They have one fortress in my vicinity. Let's check the elevation. It's very flat. So, yeah. I don't know if I like very flat. Let's go one down. Uh, Check the elevation here. It's a little higher, a little steeper. Uh, let's check if I can maybe um, move this a little bit. Okay, I only have one biome in this. And uh, if I check, yeah, this is woodland. And this is not uh, this one. So if I choose this one, I will have very few um, trees. Let's check the next one. Deep soil, shallow metal. That is not what I want. Because uh, metal means singular one metal. One metal is not enough. Um, because the more metals you have, basically shallow, uh, in the shallow uh, areas, um, the higher the chance that you have like uh, iron. And you need iron to... Okay, let's check the elevation at this point. Okay, that looks nice. If I move a bit to there, I have some soil, elevation with a uh, brook, which is nice because you can't drown in a bro brook. And we have some elevation, so we basically can dig ourselves into the mountain right away. So I think this one is a good starting point. Uh, we are surrounded by wilderness, so there will be some sort of wild beasts. Uh, temperature is fine. So yeah, I think I will choose this location right here. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's uh, plan carefully. I want three miners. And uh, one of them will grab two points in Mason. The other one will be a mechanic. Two points. So they have double duty, but yeah, that's what uh, you have to do. So I will grab two points in woodcutter, three in carpenter for this one. And I will go with a, where do we have those? Three points in grower, two points in brewer with this one. You will be a ambusher. Two points in crossbowman, so he will be a hunter basically. And the last one, uh, what skills do I need? I think I have everything that I really want. And I will go with a basic doctor, which, uh, oh, and uh, do I have one point left? Yes, and one in appraiser. Um, I will start with a doctor because, uh, haha, I don't have... Okay, I only need one battle axe, and I will take one pick. 
Uh, I need a doctor because doctors are skills that are quite hard to come by. Let's say it like this. So I will start with some plump helmets. Uh, plump helmets, bomb pigtails, seed, cake with seeds, sweet pot seeds, rock nuts. Where is my dwarven beer and dwarven ale? I like to start with a little bit more alcohol. There we go. And I forgot to take off my steam. So, and I don't want to take too many uh, pets, but I will take one cat. And... There we go. One rooster, two hens for some eggs. And yeah, I think that's it. What do what more do I want? Let me see if I can. Uh, okay, let's get some meat. Get some eagle meat. And there we go. Uh, very basic setup. Nothing fancy. Uh, I have no experience with this build, so I don't know what I really need. Uh, two hens might be a little, f a little too few, which probably will mean that I will start uh, fostering some chickens. So basically, I won't pick up the eggs for a bit. I think I can handle it. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Let's name our fortress: Glazed Creeds. Uh, let's random that. Group Hatchet Skin Rock. Tongs Manor, okay. Respect Lash. Bolz Kelly, oh well. Mind Chanted, Shield Wonders. Yeah, let's 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 uh, take this and hit embark. And I hope my the game won't crash. Okay, this will be our new home. You have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond your harsh trek has find oh. Okay. Am I missing a punctuation there? Probably. Beyond your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Zaledunip. This is my civilization. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. But it is spring now, enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the dingoes get hungry. Fuck, I have dingoes. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Sword of Logan, shield wonders, strike the earth. Okay. Please load. Now. This build is still, well, it's the sixth build of the 2014 version, but it still has a lot of bugs. That's what I heard. So here we are, and we start on a cliff. And I see fuel, which is great. Lignite. So we will have fuel. We don't have to burn trees. Well. I might have, but <laughs> I might have to. Oh, that's great. Some gypsum, I think, is that? Is that gypsum? Yeah, it is. I'm so good at this game. I'm probably not. And here we have the brook. And I think, I really think, oh, god damn it, do I have two? No, it's not light. I do have a lot of fuel visible, so that's that's one great start. That's a very good start. Uh, siltstone and bauxite. So this is stone. Uh, I probably what the fuck is that? Is that iron? Magnetite is an ore of iron, I think. So we are set. Great stuff. Uh, once we find the flux stone that should be here, we will be able to make steel, and steel is um, 
I think, the best common weapon metal. There are some others, but uh, I don't want to spoil you. <laughs> okay, first things first, let's uh, switch to Dwarf Therapist and connect to Dwarf Fortress. There we go. We will sort by current jar. No. Uh, by... What the f... Where's the... Profession. Sorry. So we have three miners. Uh, let's put it on full mode. First things first, my miners will not... Um, God damn it, commit changes. Will not haul anything because I will need them to mine. Okay, my hunter will not hunt um, because I don't have a butcher yet, but uh, there will be one, probably, sometimes. So, uh, I love this new features. I, I, I haven't played for long. I can, I can, like, Oh, I fuck my hunter cannot hunt because I ah dope. Except he, if he didn't, if he did bring it, I didn't pack any crossbow or I will have to make one. It's easy to make a crossbow and some wooden wooden uh, bolts. Probably have some leather around or something for a quiver and that should be fine. Yeah, that was dumb. That was a fuck up, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, first things first. Let me. Uh, I had. I should have done this first. Uh, for how is it? Options. God damn it. Um, I want text. Yep. Okay, so I can see the skill not have like a dot or something. So you can see I have like some skill labor. I think that's it that I want to do by now. And I would recommend if you want to play Dwarf Fortress, I will give the link in the in, in the doodly do, you know, the whatever uh, description. Thanks uh, <laughs> for reminding myself. I will give you the uh, link uh, to the, the starter pack that I'm using. Um, so you can download it yourself. So let's check the environment first, right? Let's get get a map. So I have like no trees here, nothing. But I do have some trees here. And as you can see, this are the new trees. They are basically multi-level trees, uh, kind of like Minecraft. And they give a lot of wood. So, um, yeah, I will have a base of of, uh, of those, and I really, really need those. Uh, there. Okay, so basically if we take a look at the map, we have a brook here. With fuck my life, I will have to hollow that out completely. <laughs> look at that. There is a magnetite and freaking lignite all over the fucking place. I'm so... I will make everything out of fucking iron at least until I find fluxstone. I will have to check. Maybe I can see fluxstone already, but usually that has like another another uh, picture, so I would recognize it. So what I will probably do is, uh, since I'm not doing this like practically, I want to do some design stuff. If you want, I will have uh, the main entrance into my fort at this kind of area. Right, so I will dig in right. Uh, uh, I will dig in here at some time and use it as my main entrance, and then there my defenses will be at this place, which is kind of neat. Let's. Uh, but for the time being, I will dig myself an entrance uh, a little earlier. Uh, a little more to the top of my so I can bring some stuff in build my inside of the fortress and then go down and uh, you know plan my big entrance to my fortress so basically I want to impress the caravans that come so they can see that we are rich and full of iron 
look at this shit. So I probably, if you can follow my, I will have to hollow this thing out completely like this. Because uh, I think magnetite is in clusters, not in veins. So I will have like a big round cluster around here. So I will probably have to deal with some uh, floodgates to get access to all of those. Look at this shit. <laughs> I will flood this whole area. I don't give a shit. Okay. So guys, here's what I do. Um, oops, that was wrong. Um, kurva. Sorry for everyone who speaks Polish. Uh, I will plan my entrance out, right? How I will dig down and stuff. And I will pause for that because... Uh, I want to force me to be perfectionist this time. Usually if I play this game, so I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Go in there, do some stuff, whatever, and then it looks shitty. So I will plan this out. So uh, thank you for watching. I think this will be my introduction video, and I will come back to you once I plant this whole area out, and then uh, we will uh, see where we go from there. Bye, guys.